Hi Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your October 2022 full moon reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and, and loving space. So let's see the energy that we have to be mindful of here, Sagittarius, during this Hunter's Full Moon in Aries on October 9th. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. We have the Seven of Pentacles. So it's interesting because when I see this card, you know, it's about patience. And here he's gathering the holly, which is a sacred tree but or a sacred vine. But it's growing off of the tree. And when I see vines like this, I just think that the ivy was considered stronger than the oak because it sucked the power from the oak and could fell an oak. So here, there's, we're told to be mindful of something, that it can be a blessing. It can be, you know, something that we've always wanted or absolutely love, but it's draining us little by little by little. And we have to be mindful of that or mindful of just taking time to recharge and reboot and make sure that we're okay as we make sure everybody else is okay. You know, make sure you're okay too. Have patience, have patience with yourself. Things don't need to go as quickly, though in this, you know, Aries full moon, we want to move at a million miles per second. And that's not always feasible or feasible at all. So just be patient with yourself. Be patient with moving more slowly. Be patient with being more connected with you and where you need to be for you. Because we also have the full moon conjunct Chiron, which brings very intense emotions forward and also shows us the inner work that we need to do, the things that we need to do in order to heal. A lot of the wounds that we carry because the moon is conjunct Chiron, are going to come forward. They're going to be brought to our attention. And the sun and Venus, they're in Libra. And Venus rules Libra. So the heart comes through very strongly. And with the full moon in Aries opposite the sun and Venus in Libra, we can find that there's also that push and pull between, you know, wanting to be free and wanting to be, you know, just spontaneous and, and do what we want to do. And then all our responsibilities and how we have to balance the the emotions of this is what I want to do, but this is what I have to do. And this is going to be a time where we can find that to be a little bit overwhelming. But also it's going to be a time where we start to connect and really see what's important to us. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides. So we have here the three of wands. We have the page of swords. We have the five of wands and we have the knight of wands. So we are represented by the wands in the minor arcana. Also, this moon is represented by the wands. So we have a lot of wands coming forward. The page of of swords is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The full moon is in Libra, not the full moon, the sun is in Libra. So that energy is coming through and it's going to show us a lot. There's a lot of illumination that comes with a sense of during our day, releasing and saying, I am a student. What do you have to teach me? I am a student. How am I going to learn? 
and there is there's a magic that's leading us. And that might sound, you know, a little bit funny, but there is a magic here that is leading us. There is a beauty here that if we quiet ourselves and embrace, you know, just embrace our own questions. And Lord knows, you know, that Sagittarius has questions upon questions upon questions. So here, there's going to be a beauty that leads us forward, okay? Now, with the three of wands, there there's new opportunities coming. This moon is going to illuminate something. We're going to want it to happen instantaneously. This is a slow build. This is a steady, you know, acceleration forward towards where we need to be for ourselves. But there's something that's opening to us. There's some way that's leading us forward that we're looking and we're like, huh, I didn't think of mixing these two things together. Or it can just be that we're like, well, why can't I try that? Or why can't I do that? Or why can't I, you know, experiment with this recipe? I'm, I'm, I'm just tasting something sweet on my tongue, which is very funny. Um, so there's something here. It can be about food or it can be about going to a restaurant or, or going to a place and, and having something sweet or yeah, it's, it's just like, it, it's just like, it's almost like when you have honey on your lips and you lick it off, like, like, it's like a surprise. It's like, oh, wow that tastes really yummy, you know, that type of thing coming forward. So, so just be, just be aware of this during this time that there's, there's some sort of beauty that is, that is opening itself up to you. And there's, there's some sort of way forward that you're like, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, that, that sounds pretty cool. And it moves us to the page of lightning and the page of lightning, the page of swords is this energy of asking questions, you know, discovering, pushing limits. And that's what we're going to see during the day. But there is this sense of if we ask, we will receive our answers. So if we start our day with saying, you know, we could, you know, ask divinity, we can ask the earth, you know, whatever we're comfortable with and saying, how do I lead my day forward? You know, what is it that I want? And we can just see how this day answers us. And each day is going to answer very, very differently. And that's going to be something really beautiful to explore for ourselves, Sagittarius. It's like, where do I need to be? And why do I need this? And, you know, what am I looking forward to in my life? And, and what do I desire? And we're going to find that even though we might think we know the answers, the things that come up during this time, they're going to show us different answers, powerful answers, different ways forward. And it's going to be like, yeah, you can do that. And it brings us to the five of wands. Now, the five of wands tells us that we can have a lot on our plate and we need to be very mindful of falling into other people's pettiness because we can kind of take on their their sense of like, I need to do this or this needs to be this way. And we can become drawn into other people's arguments and we just don't need that. So just be very mindful of this. There's also a sense here with the with the five of wands. We can feel during this time that we just need to clone ourselves. We just need to, you know, make it so that make it so that there's there's enough of us to go around. We can almost feel like pulled in too many different directions. So just be very aware of this, just to calm ourselves and center ourselves and and see, you know, where it is that we want to be? Because we're not going to be asking ourselves that question that much. It's going to be like, okay, well, how can I move forward? And how can I obtain like the most out of this this time, this effort, you know, whatever it is. And, and Spirit's going to say here, no, see how you can move forward for you. And don't fall into other people's chaos, other people's, you know, greed or, or wants or, or, you know, negativity, because it will be very easy to, it will be very easy to during this time, Sagittarius. And so that's just like a big warning that's coming up. Do not fall into other people's negativity. Do not fall into other people's, you know, pettiness or, or squabbles or, or, or hurts or angers or pains. That's for them to deal with. And if you need to be a support to them and say, I see you, you know, I understand you. I'm here for you. Just know that, that you, you just don't need to be pulled down into it. And then we move to the night of wands and the knight of wands is is us it is the energy of this moon there's an energy here of moving forward there's an energy of of conquering and success and determination and focus and insight and so that's very much what we are going to be embracing during this time the sense of yes of course i can you know do this of course i can move forward this way of course i am going after this and there's there's such an assuredness to us that we might even doubt it at times it's like okay where is this confidence coming from you know why do i think i can you know achieve this when it, it's harder than you know i might think or than i have imagined so just be aware of it here with the with the knight of wands that this is us there's a speed to us 
okay? We need to very much temper that during this time. Whenever speed comes up with the full moon in Aries, we need to temper it because it's going to make us just feel like everything needed to be done yesterday. And that's going to make us feel unrest, but also almost disappointed in ourselves. Like, why couldn't I do this sooner? Why couldn't I do this better? Why did I get distracted? And it can bring a lot of negative self-talk. So just be very aware of that. So let's see what the moon has to say for herself. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. I love it. The full moon eclipse comes through and that's just going to be the power of the full moon. It says conclusions are within reach, but there's there's that sense of that shadow coming forward. There's a sense of a quiet needing to come over us. So let's see what else the moon has to say for herself. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. Oh, goodness. Okay. And then one bonus card. Cool. So we have nourishment. We have attraction. We have protection. And we have the path. So conclusions are within reach. As the doors are opening. As we're, we're seeing where we want to go. As new opportunities come our way. We're looking at the conclusion of a cycle. But we're also looking at a path. It's almost like a path that we were born to walk forward in. There's something that we have wanted for a very, very long time. The way it's coming about is is quite different than the way that we had imagined. You know, we had kind of maybe even imagined it more more conventional. It comes through unconventional means. But there's an energy here where it's like, yeah, this is different. But does it mean that it's bad? And Spirit's saying, no, it doesn't mean that it's bad at all. And so there's there's a power here where it's like, think outside of the box. Don't say it has to be like this because the way it's coming in is going to just be, it's just going to be different than you expected. And it moves us to a nourishment, a nourishment of our questions, a nourishment of our words and our thoughts and the way that we're putting together the puzzle. And so here we're going to see ourselves being nourished more deeply by the moon by asking these questions, but also the illumination that comes during the day with the Libra energy, the illumination of balance and harmony and the sense of, well, how do I move this forward? And, and where is it that I want to be? And what is it that I desire for myself? The moon nourishes us. The questions that we get, the energy that we get during the day will be nourished at night. Answers will come to us at night. We just need to be quiet enough, centered enough in order to move it forward. It moves us to attraction with the five of wands we are going to be attracting to ourselves the energy that we put out. So if that energy is chaos, if that energy is, is feeling overwhelmed, if that energy is anger, that's what we'll attract to ourselves. If the energy is calmer and more peaceful, you know, we can't make people be calm and peaceful, but we can also not engage in their pettiness and their anger. And we can say that can be your world, but it sure as heck isn't going to be mine. And so there's an, a wisdom that this moon is also bringing us. You know, I love that the, the elder, the wise woman sitting and connecting and saying, I'm here and I'm a part of this earth. The earth nourishes me. I walk upon this earth. I nourish it with my energy and my actions. How will we move forward? How do we connect? And it's not only just to our earth, but to our fellow human beings, to the world around us, protection. As we're embracing the night of, of, of wands, who needs more protection than night? Know that the moon protects us during this night and that we are warriors during this time. We are seekers and we are adventurers and we are, you know, there's, I just get, they, it's kind of like a message. I don't know why freedom fighter <laughs> comes through, but it's like, it's like a sense of, I want to embrace my freedom and my sense of adventure. It's like, it's, it's like that, that adventurous spirit. Yeah. That adventurous spirit is coming forward. And we want that. We want to be that adventurer. We want to be that seeker. We want to be that finder of what's right for us. And what we might find is that what's right for us, other people might not think, oh, that's so cool. But if we think that's so cool, that's all that matters. And we can kind of build that community that way. We can also build a community by writing letters to friends that we live far away from instead of just always connecting through, through you know, the internet or through text messaging, sitting down, writing a letter, throwing out a picture, however we like to communicating and, and mailing that to a friend of ours. And just, you know, having that, you know, I've touched this, now you're touching this type of thing is, is beautiful. 
it moves us to the path. Our path is beautiful. It's just different than we expected it to be. And it's forever going to be different than we expect it to be. As we walk up our ladder, as we, you know, embrace our our rungs of, of potentials and opportunities and insights and ideas, we're we're getting to a, a much more authentic place than we have been in a long time. And there's something about this time, it's like it's peeling back the layers. It's peeling back what we thought we should be presenting to the world. And it's like, no, but this is the truth now. This is the truth. This is me. Like it? Fantastic. Don't like it? That's also great. But I'm not, I'm not hiding away anymore. I'm not being what was expected because what was expected made me lose myself. It brings us to our subconscious Luna message, which is the new moon in Libra. And I love the Libra energy coming forward so strongly with that Aries energy. And here it says a new romantic cycle starts. We start to fall in love with our lives again, with what we want. And then there's a realization. There's an unlocking of the door. There's a stepping through. There's embracing new insights, new ideas, and, and, and seeing where it is that we want to be. We're realizing that we hold more of the key than we ever thought we would or ever thought we could. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the Queen of Cups. And I think it's interesting. She's drinking deeply of the knowledge of the moon. We can drink a little bit too dif- deeply of the knowledge of the moon. We can drink too deeply of the hunter's power, the Aries power, the, the kind of mystical in- introspection of the moon. And it can make us not as concerned with the outside world. And yeah, that can be great for a time, but it also can be a little bit too much for us at times. So just be aware of that. Just be aware that we need to also connect with the people that need our attention in the here and the now. Our subconscious tarot message is the page of wands. Okay, and that is us. We come through as a knight, but subconsciously we see ourselves as a student, as a person who is constantly learning, who is open to new ideas and and asking questions and pushing those boundaries and embracing where we need to be. So the page of wands comes forward and says subconsciously to us, you know, what do you want? What are you looking for? And it's telling us, look at things in a different way. It's not the same old thing. It's not the same old way. It's, it's a bit different and it's a bit wonderful because of that. All right. All right, Sagittarius. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this moon and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Sagittarius, and may you have a blessed moon.